Hello viewers, I'm here to talk about Sonic Generations. How is the time paradox? Now, I'm not going to complain about anything, but I'm going to say one thing. Uh, well, I guess it's not saying, but I'm not really complaining, I'm just saying. How is the time paradox? It There is really a time paradox within the system now. Uh, of course, Classic Sonic is three spikes, and since Classic Sonic has three spikes, I mean, why does this Sonic have five? A, cl a Classic Sonic needs three. Of course, th you can see three spikes. Three spiked Sonic in Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic Saturday M, and Sonic 1. You can see clearly see that he has three spikes, of course. But then this one has five. Of course, from Sonic R, Sonic 3, and Knuckles, and yeah. But basically, what I'm saying is, I, I think that they made a time paradox. Now, here's what I'm going to say. I think that it's a time paradox because, think of it. Three Spike Sonic would have all the Sonic CD moves because, as in Sonic 2, he gets the spin dash, of course. Sonic 1, he only has the jump and the auto roll, where he, I, I think it's called the auto roll or whatever the heck you want to call it. And since he has that and all of his Sonic CD moves, where his legs go into a eight or something, I don't know. You look up and it's like an up spin dash or something. When he also has a spin dash as well. It's Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic CD, Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles. Yeah. But basically, they just made a 5 Spike Sonic, Sonic 2 move. But why would Sonic 2 Sonic be in Green Hill Zone? Of course, I know that the original beta for Sonic 2 has began in Green Hill Zone. Maybe that's what they were featuring on? No, they weren't. I know that they weren't. The thing is, is that they just messed up. All I gotta say is, if it's five spikes Sonic, then he would have all of his Sonic CD abilities, plus the auto shield. Where is the auto shield? I don't see it anywhere. And it ain't going to be where he just became five spike, or, you know, who cares? Uh, me, personally, I don't care. I'm just commenting on it. The thing is, is that... Since he also now knows the homing attack thanks to Modern Sonic, now there's another time paradox. Where is the homing attack in all the classic games? Yeah. So, time paradox on their part, and basically just screwed up everything. Sonic 1. Sonic has five spikes now. Sonic 2. I guess Sonic still has five spikes. Oh yeah, Sonic 1, he does have the spin dash now. Um, of course that's what people say that they, that that's how it should be, but I don't really care. To tell you the truth. I'm just saying this just to put out a video for one, and, you know, to say my opinion on it. My opinion on Sonic Generations is 10 out of 10. I haven't even played it. I've watched people play it, and I just have to say I look at it, and I love it. Everything is good. Um, just, what I want to say about Sonic Generations, if you have a question, like, what do you like better, Modern Sonic or Classic Sonic? I happen to like them both the same. I may be a classic fan, but I like Modern Sonic the same because he's Sonic. Yeah. Well, that's basically it. Time Paradox, apparently. Share your thoughts on Sonic Generations down in the comments below if you want. Bye.